All right. Hello, AKA Fight Family. It is I, Shimena Zhao, and the gym is closed. So I will be bringing you answering all the most frequently asked questions that you keep sending us. First of all, I want to say thank you to Ibrahim from Saudi Arabia. Ibrahim says, big fan of your channel. Please keep the videos coming. Love from Saudi Arabia. Thank you, Ibrahim. And we also got a recurring monthly donation from Saiful. Saiful? So I don't know how to pronounce it, but thank you so much. We appreciate that. And the number two most frequently asked question is, is the gym closed? And yes, the gym, AKA headquarters in San Jose is closed as of, I believe March 17th, St. Patrick's day was the day that the six county shelter in place order affecting Santa Clara County went into effect. The original six county order was only for three weeks and it was supposed to be up on April 7th, but we just received news today that the statewide order for the state of California is now extended until May 1st. So the gym will be closed for the duration of April 2020. And as far as I know, the other AKA locations, AKA Sunnyvale, Thailand, and Tracy are also closed as far as I know. And that of course is intended to curtail the spread of the global pandemic of the COVID-19 virus. And I know I say these, this in the intro to every single one of these, but it has been a long time since I've done one of these. And so for those of you who keep asking me who makes the videos and for me to get on camera and be in the videos or who don't know that I have been in the videos, I have. And I believe the first one I did may have been when Mark Hunt, when Justin Big Pretty Willis beat Mark Hunt at UFC Adelaide. And then I know I did one when Javier was traveling with Habib and we had a lot of fights. And so I wanted to give the news of all the very full calendar of all the fights we had and my favorite thing, which is to congratulate people on their wins. So I did one when head coach Javier Mendez was out of the country. And then let's see. So if you haven't seen those, then you can, this is the perfect opportunity for you to go back and rewatch all of our old videos and hit like on all of them, of course. Let's see. I'm going to go on to our most frequently asked questions. Number one most frequently asked question was, is, well, but okay, the number two second and most frequently asked question. And then I also want to mention about the gym being closed that the video where Nurse Allison came and gave a talk about COVID-19 and the coronavirus. That was filmed way weeks ago, way back in the beginning of March. And I don't think people watching the video now understand just how much the situation has changed in just a few weeks. Like at the end of February, Mayor London Breed, the mayor of San Francisco, declared an emergency for the county and a lot of people were making fun of her and thought she was nuts because there were no cases of community spread and of coronavirus having been 
acquired in the county. There was patients being treated in the county, but they had contracted the virus somewhere else outside of San Francisco. The situation was very different then. And of course, now the gym is closed. All non-essential businesses in the state of California are closed. A third of the world population is under some form of shelter in place order. It's probably more than that now because India passed one this week also, and that is a billion people right there. If you're leaving snarky comments about videos from a month ago, then you really need to check the date on when that was filmed and when that was published, because even in the video, Nurse Allison, who's a pro fighter, says that we don't know how the virus works, which is true. I mean, we still don't know. There's teams of the best scientists in the world, all over the world, studying that virus right now, and new information is coming out every few hours about it. So you cannot judge people in the past, the past actions and decisions and viewpoints and perceptions they had based on the knowledge they had at the time. You also have to understand that a lot of the Russians that Habib mentors don't speak English. With this group of athletes that he was traveling with, Habib studied languages and he is as far as I can tell, because they don't actually talk to me because I don't know why, I mean, but they don't actually talk to me that much. But as far as I can tell, Habib is the best English speaker of his group. Just imagine how you feel when you're in another country where the primary language of that country and all the news and most of the people you're surrounded with are speaking a different language from yours that's not your native language and you're trying to get complicated scientific and political late-breaking news every couple hours while you're trying to focus on training and at the time the Russian Embassy in the United States was advising all Russian citizens in the US to return to Russia because they were afraid that this was at that time, Trump was closing all of the airports to European travelers. And at first he had made an exception for UK nationals, but then he quickly extended it to UK nationals. So they thought that the United States was potentially going to close the airports and close the borders to Russians and not allow Russians to enter or exit the country to control the coronavirus spread. And also at that time, so this goes to the number one asked question, which is where is Habib? Habib is in Dagestan, Russia. Also at that time, originally the fight was supposed to, UFC 249 was supposed to happen in New York. And then New York became a hotspot for coronavirus and they had to cancel all large gatherings and sporting events in the state of New York. So then they were going to move it to the UFC's owned Apex Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. But then the Nevada State Athletic Commission canceled all sporting events in the state of Nevada. So then there was some talk of moving it to Oklahoma because Oklahoma had not yet had any confirmed COVID-19 cases. And then it had to be canceled from Oklahoma also. So it became, the situation looked like 
there was going to be no way for it to be anywhere in the United States. And they thought that it was most likely going to be in Dubai. And at that point, the UFC told Habib that it was 99.99% sure that the fight was going to happen and that it was not going to be in the United States. It was going to be on the other side of the Atlantic, meaning either in Moscow or Dubai. At that point, the Habib and all of the Russians who came with him for this Tony Ferguson camp went back to Russia. And at some point they tried to go to the United Arab Emirates also because they thought the fight was going to be in Dubai and they were not allowed into the country. So they went back to Russia. At this point, I've actually tried to record this video a couple of times and then the situation keeps changing because have you published another video this morning on his Instagram live? But it's all in Russian, so we can try to get a translation for you. If you are an English speaking viewer, because I guess we do have a lot of Russian fans. Uh, в самом начале, где-то дней 10, мы, находясь в Калифорнии, в ОКЕ, тренировались. Диси, what's up, brother? How are you? How is everything? I'm here, brother. I'm in Dagestan. Находясь в ОКЕ, в Сан-Хосе, мы тренировались где-то около 10 дней, не зная, будем мы драться и где мы будем драться.